And now it's my pleasure to welcome the Honourable Leanne Dalziel, Mayor of Christchurch, um, to come up and sign the Charter and then speak to you about why safety is important. Um, Leanne was elected as Mayor of Christchurch in October, October 2013 after serving 23 years working in New Zealand Parliament and the last four terms as the Member of Parliament for Christchurch East. Um, Christchurch East was, East was obviously severely affected by the earthquakes and she's played an important role in ensuring that her constituents had access to accurate information as well as ensuring that their concerns were communicated to the key decision makers. Um, she was invited to join UNISDR's Parliamentary Advisory Group on Disaster Risk Reduction in 2012. Um, and Leanne, with this background, has been the champion of resilience in Christchurch um, since the earthquakes. And Christchurch has been selected as one of the first tranche of cities to participate in the 100 Resilient City ne Network pioneered by the Rockefeller Foundation. So congratulations, Leanne. Come and start. Uh, kia ora koutou katoa. Look, I'm absolutely delighted to be here today to pledge my 100% commitment to the Canterbury Rebuild Health and Safety Charter and to express my pride and admiration for the health and safety commitment uh, by those in construction and associated industries who are rebuilding our city. The Charter, as you all know, sets the standard for a consistent and collective approach to health and safety on our Canterbury work sites. Everyone knows what's expected of them and what they have to do to keep themselves and others safe. And so far, the results have been amazing. No fatalities on the rebuild and a commitment to keep it that way. Last year I was fortunate enough to travel to Antarctica. There will be people jealous in the room now of me. Um, but all you have to do is become Mayor of Christchurch, so um, comes up again next year. Um, um, but, but there, and the reason that I mention it is that I actually believe there that I saw in action the gold standard for health and safety. And that's led by an organisation called Antarctica New Zealand. It is utterly extraordinary. From the moment that you touch down to the moment that you leave, there is no question that you are personally responsible for your own safety, but you are also equally responsible for the safety of others, and you are also equally responsible for the safety um, of the environment. And it's the three things that come together in a sense of strong commitment um, because basically lives depend on ourselves taking responsibility but also taking responsibility for others and the environment. And I just noticed the, the signs there in front of the stage and um, sometimes they can just look like they're signs but actually they just speak so strongly to why we're here today. On this site we've got each other's back. And that really is it. We've got each other's back. We're looking out for other people. We compete for business, but we're united in safety. These aren't just slogans. These are absolute commitments, and that's what the Charter is all about. I was um, surprised. I was going to say gobsmacked, but I probably don't think that's an appropriate word to use as a mayor. But in 2012, the Canterbury rebuild was estimated to involve one or two construction fatalities for each year of the rebuild. How could you estimate an unacceptable um, fatality rate? I mean, I just think that that is the wrong place to start. It has to start with a belief in zero deaths, zero fatalities. Um, and I think it's important that any death would be regarded as one death too many. And I reflect on the building of the facilities for the London Olympics, and that was the target they set right from the outset. There was no expectation that there would be any fatalities, and they committed to no fatalities, and that's what they achieved. Zero tolerance actually does, in fact, sometimes um, achieve um, a great purpose. It was a daunting task, but they did it. We can do it too, and I believe that would leave the most incredible legacy of the Canterbury rebuild if that was able to be achieved safely. So I'm committed to the fact that we can make it happen. 
I believe that you guys and women in the room can believe that it can happen and we can make it happen. Finally, um, I too would like to offer my congratulations to the first recipients of the Safety Champions Awards, your outstanding role models to the industry and to our region, and if our region can do it, then for the rest of the country as well. Thank you. Thanks, Leanne. That's fantastic. I'm uh, really pleased that you've signed the charter. This, the group of people here are doing tremendous work and uh, we've been going for a few years. The, the dedication and commitment is extraordinary.